What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today I want to give updates in terms of catalysts for two very popular penny stocks as of late in the form of Hedge of Choice Management, ticker symbol HCMC and High Tide, ticker symbol HITIF. And with all that being said, let's dive right on into today's video. Here we are on my trading 2 on 2 portfolio. We can see on the left here, I currently have just under 9,100 euro invested. That equates to about 11,500 US dollars. We're up 1,253 euro or just under 16%. Now this portfolio is predominantly made up of blue chip diversified stocks. However, High Tide and HMC are two penny stocks in particular that have really got my attention for a load of different reasons. Ironically enough, High Tide is probably one of my worst performing stocks at the moment. About 3 overall out of the 33 holdings are currently in the red. Now that poses great opportunities to dollar cost average which I'll discuss later on. But at the moment I have 531 shares in high tide. We're down 10.89%. I mean see the dotted line here on a 3 month chart is my average price sitting at about 57 cent or so a share. Now as I said in previous videos I do want to get this below the 50 cent mark uh, if possible. So if this keeps dropping on price I'll continue to buy more as dollar cost averaging here. Is great for long term investing, particularly in volatile penny stocks that always kind of drip feed in money on the dip. Now we can see it's currently trading at about 52 cents a share. Now, if you just looked at this chart alone, you probably wouldn't touch this stock because it does it looks like it's going in a downward trajectory non stop. However, I have always compiled a list of some of my stocks that I hold, and we'll have a look at that now in terms of a word doc on these potential catalysts and fundamentals going forward for the stock and why I believe at current prices it's definitely a steal. Here we are at that word doc. Now I have mentioned most of these in prior videos which I'll link in the description below so I don't want to go into detail today on those but just a kind of summary of some catalysts and fundamentals for the stock going forward and why I believe at current prices it doesn't make any sense. If you look up high tide on Google it's very hard to find any negative news at all about the stock and that's being honest. So we can see here product offering and diversification they are very well established here in my opinion. Again all these videos are in the description below. Celebrity endorsements, they have a great CEO in the form of Raj, ever expanding and again I want to give an update on that later on as well. The highlighted piece at the bottom here, their increased US presence, which I did say was one of their very few negatives or downtrends, was they needed to get into further markets outside of Canada and they're certainly doing that as well. So again, also I said they had the e-commerce problem as well in the past and they've also fixed that problem by acquiring cannabis companies and e-commerce companies that are very well established within this technology sector. So that's really beneficial for the company going forward as well. Also not to mention that they're the leading Canadian cannabis stock at the moment as well. They have huge potential at current prices. And now when I wrote that down, they were actually trading at a lot higher prices than now. So that's even more prevalent than before. They are still filing for the NASDAQ. Again, if they get onto the NASDAQ, that's going to be of huge benefit and a huge catalyst for the stock as it's really going to increase their exposure as well. So that can only be a benefit for the stock. And that's currently still ongoing at the moment. There are also mergers and acquisitions are going very well. They seem to be ticking all the boxes really, for especially for a penny stock in terms of consistency, fundamentals and catalysts. Everything seems to be going right for them, including the quarter one earnings and quarter four earnings for 2020 and quarter one for this year as well. Again, it's very hard to even find any negatives within those reports, which is great to see. And it's going to be very interesting to see, especially because it's a penny stock, if they can continue this consistency. They've also reduced some of their interest rates on some of their loans. Again, everything seems to be going right here, so I can't really quantify why the current share price is as is. Again, I kind of do believe that this is kind of a pump and dump style scheme from the larger institutional investors. And over the long term, if you keep patient and again, buy in at the dip continually, again, small amounts here and there, but it all adds up. I would believe that this stock is going to pay dividends in the long term. Now, obviously, I'm not a financial advisor, so you need to do your own due diligence before investing any of your hard earned capital. Again, in prior videos, the two faults I had for the stock and kind of potential hazards was firstly their e commerce and second of all, their US exposure. Now, they have again bought into Smoke Cartel or acquired Smoke Cartel, which really do have a well established e commerce platform. So they've definitely fixed that solution or problem and turned it into a solution. And now their other problem was to get into the US markets more. Obviously, the US markets are huge across the globe. And in particular, within the cannabis industry, it's no different. And we can see they're certainly starting to take strides here as well. Because High Tide have bought 80% stake in the US CBD company, Fab CBD. You can see on screen that High Tide have obtained 80% of Fab CBD for $20.6 million dollars. 
consisting of 8.08 .08 million in shares of high tide and also 12.56 million in cash. We can also see here that high tide intends to bring the fab CBD products into the US e-commerce sites in the forms of Grass City, CBD City and Smoke Cartel and the company also is considering bringing in the brand to Canada and Amsterdam as well. You might be wondering why High Tide wanted to acquire Fab CBD. Now there's a lot of reasons, but obviously the three to stand out here for me is firstly the top point here. This acquisition will boost the revenue run rate by 60% to over 40 million Canadian dollars. And the bottom two points here as well is that this complimentary acquisition is adding a fully direct consumer to e-commerce platform. Certainly what High Tide are definitely striving for as well. So this is only going to be of added benefit. And finally, the third point here is the bottom point in the potential meaningful synergies and cross-selling opportunities. Certainly, synergy is key for businesses' activities. And High Tide, again, really are seem to be ticking all the right boxes. It's very hard to fault them in any way, shape or form. And the other penny stock that I want to give a brief update on today is Health or Choice Management, ticker symbol HGMC. Now, I have already made a video on this stock yesterday, which again is in the description below. And we covered three main points in that video. An update on their lawsuit. We also discussed very briefly the earnings reports that are actually out yesterday. So I'm just waiting for that to be uploaded onto the internet and I'm going to have a very good look through that and I'll make a video on that as well for you guys. And thirdly, I just wanted to have an update as well yesterday on the HMC day where they were striving across social media for everyone to buy $100 at least of this year, which would really short out the short sellers. Also discussed yesterday, HMC's stock price. Now it's currently trading at 0.002109 cent per share, which again is crazy. For example, yesterday we were saying like if you bought a thousand euro worth of this share, you nearly have a million shares, which is insane to think. Now on the three month chart, they're currently up 24.06%. On the one month chart, they're up in a very impressive 74.3%. On the one week chart, they're up 16.5%. However, if you go to the one day chart, they're down 4.5%. So that's currently where they stand. Now I say about 99.9% .9 of investors in HMC are worried about two things and two things only. In particular, the lawsuit and the patent infringement with Philip Morris. They're still waiting on the results or updates on that lawsuit, which surely will be coming out in the next few weeks. And also the other one was the earnings report, again, which was out yesterday. We're just waiting for that to be registered online. So again, they are the two key factors here. But a lot of people kind of overlook the fact the fact. That is, there is a rights offering currently at play, which I'm going to discuss very briefly now. As the title of this article suggests, HMC have released key information in terms of this rights offering in the form of key dates and terms. We can see here, the highlighted point below, is that if you want to be in for this rights offering, you need to hold shares of HMC as at Friday, May 14th, which obviously is about eight days away at the moment. So again, if you want to take advantage of this rights offering, you need to be a shareholder at that date. Four key dates here on screen. Again, as just discussed, Friday, May 14th, you need to be holding this share as the shares will be acquired by the 14th of May. And if you don't, you will not be able to take action for this rights issue. Then on Tuesday, May 18th is the record date. So that's why you need to have your shares in by the Friday before. Then Wednesday, May 19th, we can see distribution date, subscription period begins. And then on June 3rd, 2021, the description period ends and the rights issues will take place. You might be wondering what this rights issue is all about. So in a very brief summary, we can see here under the pros rights offering, HMC will distribute one non-transferable subscription rate for each four shares of common stock held by a stakeholder on record date May 18th. Now each description rate will be entitled to the holder to purchase one share of HMC common stock at a subscription price equal to three quarters or 75% of the average volume weighted average of the trading prices of your common stock on OTC ping sheets for five consecutive trading dates with expiration date of this rates offering. So this equates to a 25% discount to your average cost of this stock. So with all that being said, that brings the end to today's video. I just wanted to give a very brief update on two important factors for each of these penny stocks in the form of HITIF and HCMC. If you found this video anyway entertaining or interesting, it'd be much appreciated as always if you could smash that like button. And if you're new around here, I'd be grateful if you would consider subscribing to the channel. I'd also be very interested to know in the comment section below if you hold HITIF or HCMC and your reasoning behind this and what your current average price is for the stock. Thanks very much, enjoy your Thursday and I will see you all in tomorrow's video.